So this Drupal and Education Minute is going to be pretty darn long. So ignore the name completely as it's been thrown out the window. But what I'm going to show you today is how you can go about making this right here. Uh, so this is, for those who don't know, is the JW player. It's, in my opinion, the best Flash player out there. It's pretty much the standard on a lot of sites. Um, it's nice because you can play YouTube videos. You see you pop this guy open and voila, you're playing a YouTube, or streaming a video from YouTube, routing it through this player playlist here. So that's all well and good, but there's a lot of XML involved in generating the playlists that happen here. Uh, so what this video cast is going to show you how to do is a simple recipe in Drupal to use nodes of Drupal uh, and views in order to output the XML needed for the JW player to function. So if you'll notice here, uh, I have, there's a lot of, you know, network manager and different module posts. Well, this is actually pulling to together in a view all the different videos uh, that we've had on the site. You may remember from a long time ago, our site had a video aggregator type of page and a, an image aggregator page in its early, um, early versions. Uh, this is basically going to be replacing that, uh, what I'm going to show here today. So let's get started. What do you need? You will need the JW player module for Drupal. Uh, so this will make installing the long tail player, whatever you want to call it, very easy. You'll also need views, since this is views based. And more importantly, almost, you'll need views bonus, which is the views bonus pack. Uh, this allows you to export items as XML documents. This will be really important when it comes to setting up the feed and getting those items imported uh, correctly into the playlist. Uh, what we use for this demonstration also is the EM field module, which I'm not going to go over too in depth. It just allows you to embed um, code from you know YouTube or wherever what the input code is and have it, or the embed code and have it show up in your site a lot easier. Uh, something else we'll be using is image field and image cache. Again, I'm not going to go over them in huge detail, but there are some nice things you can do with those uh, in the configuration of this. So I got my video portal here. Well, how did we generate that? So after you've installed those modules, you'll get a uh, JW player setup. So if you go to JW player setup, you'll see the screen looks something like this. Uh, for the purpose of this demonstration, I'm using player test as my player settings. Um, you'll see that you know there's some just very basic types of things you can you can do. Uh, what's nice is this page here is generating the XML that you used to have to generate by hand uh, in order to feed settings to JW Player. So once you go through and it's you know it's pretty easy to say hey what plugins you like and everything else, click some buttons, it'll generate an XML file for it to use. So what does it look like when you actually go about posting? or, you know, creating this player, what does that look like? Because, you know, obviously this has to be easier than what it used to be with object embed code and all that fun stuff. So this right here will generate the player. Now, I have a lot of extra settings in here uh, because of what we're doing. And in fact, I'll just delete some of these so you can see. Um, but this is basically the new JW embed style is this pipe system. So see these little pipes in between things. So config, player test, playlist file um, is this address, which I will, I'll show how to generate in the next little snippet here. Uh, but you can see this is much more easy to embed code um, and generate players than it previously was, you know, two years, a year or two ago. Um, so right out of the box, here's a big advantage to using this module is that you can then use the pipe system and it will integrate with node bodies. It currently works across input formats, so you can't limit it at the moment, um, but that's, that's in the feature queue. So next we're gonna talk about how you actually structure the view so that this XML file gets output correctly. 